Hey guys, Susanna here. Well, I finished my um, bunny and now we're up to the part where we do a tag, which is actually quite easy with this one because I am going to be doing a little tag. Now, I've got here are the tags that I've already made. That's for the robin, for the owl, um, for the fro oh, for the fox, and for the frog. So that's it. January, February, March, April. So, um, so yeah, I did so on that one. So now we're up to doing this one. I alternate. I do one of those ones and then one of those ones so and for those of you who don't know that i'm going to be turning this block of the month thing into a book and on one side is going to be the tag and the other um the picture and the other side is going to be a tag because they're going to be putting the other side on there which i'll put the tag in you'll see when i put the book together anyway um so i've got this which I generally give it an ink. Because that's the uh, journaler in me that does that. I think I need a new thing. It's all on the bits. Okay. That's just to give it starkness away might do it on the other side as well actually the other side which is <laughs> the proper side now oh, I think I need a new a new thing it's terrible okay now um, I've got a bit of wadding like I did with that one. I just had the small bits which I sewed together. Now this is, these are all my bits and pieces. Okay, this is something that I'm currently using on a project which you'll see probably in the next video. Um, now I you cut up that bit there. I think I might keep that for something else. So I've got all the little leftover bits and I'm going to sew it. I've got my um, I've got my iron on which I might come in and use that. So I've cut that up and I've put that on there like that. So I cut it up. This is very much like a an Anne Brooks one this one. <laughs> but so what I'm gonna do is I've got the bits that I've cut out so I'm going to sew it like I did with that that one. So I might just so I've just cut. Now how am I going to do it again? I can't. It's been a while since I did it last time. Um, I think that's the first piece that you stick on there. Where's my scissors? You start off with the original piece. So I'll stick the fluffy piece. A little bigger on the end. You don't quite need that much. I've really got a um, tone it down, like as in the bits that we've got. Uh, not very much. Okay, got that piece. Which I'm just going to stick there. Then. I've got this piece here which I'm just gonna sew down and I'll just do the one and I'll be back like I was in the other one and I'm still here and I'll sew one on camera and then the others I'm going to I'll just do it off camera it's gonna be a, a mini version of me last one. Okay. It may prove a little difficult when I get to this part, but I might do something with that. So what I'm going to do now is just 
See, it's probably that part is probably too big, but I really do love that fabric. Probably should have made it smaller. That's okay though. That's okay. Now we're going to cut it. Probably cut it too small. And you've got this tiny little piece. Yep. That I am going to stitch along there like that. I might just make it bigger. And like the other one, it doesn't really matter if it's crooked. Because that allows for it. So I'll stitch until I get to this part. And then I will come back and show you what I have plans. I think I might cut them down a little bit to make them a bit smaller. It's alright on the big one, but on the little one, I'll come back for that. Okay, we're back again. Um, this is where we're up to. Uh, we're getting really short. It's just too big, so I've just got some of the white which I use for the background, and I'm going to emulate it. So we're going to do some French knots or something along the lines of that. So I will sew this on may not even have enough room for that but we'll see we'll see okay put that on and sew that in I might even end up wrapping around some of this because we do we didn't have a great deal on here but we'll see how we go make it work and it's not a bad thing that it's wider there because in here I've actually got some lace so I've got heaps of that lace left so I might now what I'm gonna do get this bit here and Cut it. Be careful that you don't cut into your your thingamajiggy, and so that I've got just enough to put a little bit of this on. Which I may end up wrapping around actually. So Sew that on there like that. The trouble with that, you can't really sew a great deal of it on. It's got patches. Okay. Hopefully. Might have to back stitch on that one. This bit of white. <laughs> okay, it's going to go. Right. Okay, we got it all in. It's good. Okay, now what I'm going to do, get this little iron. do now is actually go around and cut all the any excess and then come in with this lace which is actually the lace that I used on the big one okay I get the width just make it a tad longer. And what I'm going to do, oh, 
this didn't completely cut um, so on there that's okay because that's gonna have a stitch so you know when things don't always work out we will make it work I'll just hold that in with a little bit of glue and then we're gonna stitch over that anyway They're just so teeny. How cute is that? Actually, I might use a little bit of glue on the back of that with this. Careful not to get glue on the mat. Okay, now. And then I'm probably going to go around with a hand stitch or machine stitch machine stitch to my one now okay well I managed to get quite a bit in so that's going to go along there like that she's uh, the right way there we go just add a dot Is clear. And then I'll turn it around and put some glue here. I didn't think I'd get that in there, but I did. So Too hot because I don't want to mount the, the lace. Now, <laughs> curable foot, like it. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of this trim. Have a look how much trim of this I've got. I managed to find some of the quite a bit of this in a, um, a thrift shop or a vintage shop. So now we've got the bunny, which I um, got in a. Um, a stamp from a was a freebie from a um on a magazine so rather than making up a bunny you just use a stamp which is so much easier because remember this is just a tag so it's all good and you can stitch over it to um heighten you know some of the bits and pieces that you want this is a quick version of the this big one <laughs> and I'm probably going to end up using one of these buttons as a flower I may not do the like this flower part because or, or I will just embroider one which might be a good idea okay there we go okay now hmm. here and I might make a actually I probably can use this but I'll 
I'll use it like grass rather than having I wonder if I should wrap it wrap it around. Probably. Okay, hold that. That's cute. And then I might glue some of the bunny. Because I'm going to stitch him down. But I'll glue him as well. sitting on the grass. Very detailed little thing. Once again. I think I'm going to have it that long. I think I may hop on the sewing machine and stitch around that because there's quite a bit. Now it's looking so cute. Okay. Okay, well, I am going to um, hop on the sewing machine and sew around that. I'll do a, like a little stitch that I did on there. So I'll do that off camera and then I'll come back and I might mark out just some little... Well, I'm here, just mark out some little French knots or whatever. You'll have more because well, they're French knots. That's okay. Okay, there we go. And I'll probably, I've done a little line and French knot along here so I'll probably do the same so I've got to grab out my threads so I'll pause it and then I'll be back once I've sewn around there sewn that down and then we can come back and do some French knots and then I'll show you how we can overcome this little problem here I might probably do the um, the hexagon stitch or whatever again as well so we can do some stitches along there oh it's so cute Before I go and sew, when I cut out this, you've got extra little bits and pieces. So I thought I'm going to put that, just stick that down there and then I'm going to sew around it. So that'll just sort of stick up a little bit over the top there. And then I'm going to go and stick one of these on there, but I'll, I'll do that later. But because I thought I'd better stick this down before I stitch. So I put it up high and it's going to be a green... It's a green thread, so I'll try and get it as close as I can. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back again. Now what we're going to do here, so I've just stitched around the outside. I've just um, stitched with a thin, quite a thin cotton. And then I've got my Wonderfeel Pearl Pearl A8. It's a size 8. And then so... I don't know if you can see it just done all those where I did the dots I've done French knots and I normally do them you know like you do them fairly tight so I've got one two three what was that? one two three four put it in and normally I pull it really tight so I'll pull it down and I hang on to it and I'll pull, make sure it's really tight but so we sort of want to have a little bit looser so that it ends up with a little bit more pom pom ish, if you know what I mean. So, hang on. one, two, three, four, go down, and when you pull it, don't pull it as tight, so it's a little bit looser. So, we need to tie that off, and it's just got a little 
thing, but that's going to be glued down to the back. Now, I might keep that white on there because I was thinking of putting that on there. That's just a um, one of these things I saw laying around that will represent that. So I might well, just give it a double glue just to hold it down. And while I've got the the white on here it's going to go across catch it underneath once again it doesn't really matter because you don't see it um, part of me is like do I do it with the white or do I catch it with the colour look I might go in I'll catch that one down and I'm going to go in and around here just up and down to hold that down and then I might catch it with a, a bit of a darker colour like I did with that one I think that looks nice but you want to hold it down so but. okay just go in and out now you should have bits and pieces left over um, if you've got the kit, if not, you just, you know, yeah, well, that was cut from like that part. Um, you know, get yourself a little motif or get one of those little, I've got a whole heap of those, these flowers that you can put on there, the, um, the paper ones. That works too. Okay. Now I'll quickly do this just to hold that down and I'm going to come back to this with my button and the stitch that I do on the top but at the moment it's just uh, holding it down because it's going through all the layers it's a little bit tricky. to sew this down and I was initially going to um, I'll, st I'll start off there um, I might just do like a cross stitch rather than a uh, herringbone I did on there, I'll do a cross stitch, it can be a little bit different, so we're going to hold that down, and that's this colour, I like it because it's got the variegated, but it's got this one in between, so the glue is going to hold that initial part down, that bit that wasn't quite stitched on, remember? Which is my mistake, but that's okay. But then cross stitch gives it an extra stitch, and as you can see, it's not perfect. Some are bigger, some are smaller, but that's the the beauty of this sort of thing. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm quite liking doing this. I really enjoy just doing little stitches. I um, would have liked to have done the um, Anne Books Challenge of doing all those um, tags, but I thought if I just do one a month along with my um, block of the month things. I'm still doing an embroidered tag. 
that um, I just thought I'm just I've got so much of my own stuff to do I just I don't think I could do 52 tags it's a lot of tags but part of me is like every time I see it I'm like oh I enjoy watching it I love it um, I'm like oh I should have started along with it but no it's all right got your own stuff to do that's the, th the thing when you've got your own channel you need to you know keep up the content but other people with other channels are doing it like Rachel's amazing she does a video <laughs> video every week I mean every day just about I only do two a week so I need to um, you know pick what I'm gonna do okay going lighter so cute once again don't get to see much of that um, that cherry like in my in this one don't get to see much of the cherry just one cherry works out really well But I'll just leave it rolling. It's not going to take too long. We need to just fast forward until we get to the next bit. Um, it's got a little bit of pink in the ear, which is this. And I was thinking I might use that as the taggy bit. And I'm going to do a little bit of embroidery of pink in the ear. Already got that lined up. But, um... Time. As you're going through few layers, it can become a little tricky. It's amazing how elaborate some of these tags get when you um, watch the um, the challenge, the 52 tags challenge. It's just amazing how they turn out. Some of these tags. So, like the little mini scape, I love that one. Um, so much, you know, detail in such a little tag. But I think that's why it is as popular as it is, because it's just teaching new tags and um, you're doing a project and it's not a massive project like some of the projects I've got going. They're quite big and you've got to be dedicated. Whereas doing a little tag once a week is... It's not a, you know, not a hard task, and you can do as much or as little as you like. Make it elaborate or, um, yeah, just make it simple. I love um, Rachel's interpretation of the tags, and also Carol from Mocos Journals. She does an amazing job. Um, she doesn't always do the tags, but she does an interpretation of it, and I really like that. Okay. Now. That's that. Now what I want to do is... I found this too. I've got all these um, stuff from Steph Francis bits and pieces and I got this this was in the mixed pack and I thought oh that might look really nice along here so I might do a couple of French knots or something we'll see um I've got these here so I'm going to use this fabric I mean this stitch cotton my goodness get it right Suze and what I'm going to do along here which I actually didn't show when I made the bunny that was something I did later I said I was going to do it just a little a straight stitch but I added a little um, French knot to it and I think it looked really good so start up from top there come across actually you can probably do a, a tiny little pistol stitch I think I might do two Hold that down. And then come back. I'll do it here anyway. 
I might just do it underneath because you won't see the um, knot because it's on the bunny's tail and come back here one two and have that knot there this will hold a little tighter unlike the um, the one with the other one and you don't just have to have a simple little um, bit of lace which is nice but it's always nice to embellish it just that little bit more so this is the pistol stitch so it's just like a extra long um, French knot rather than going directly near it you make it a little bit longer I find the pistol stitch works okay when you're doing small things like that but when you're doing a really long long thing that's my own personal um, experience but like when you're making a long one it tends to be a little bit gappy um, which is okay I suppose when you're doing a field and you're just having a bit of grass and stuff, that sort of stuff um, but personal preference I suppose now try and go as quick as I can enough of the yabbering I don't want this video is probably going to take a while but I recommend fast forward bits Ugh, don't do this to me it gets knotted Ugh. Ugh. okay I'm probably going to have to pause and try and fix this <laughs> I'll be back back again finished it off untangled it and I did a little stitch along here and then I got my little bag of buttons it was a bit too big that one even though that looks all right um, and I'm gonna incorporate this so that sort of looks a little bit like leaves so what I've got the green thread here and I want to do um, like a bit of a stem stitch which incorporates that incorporates that into here making it look like it's a little flower doing similar to what is there down so I might go back and do a little um, like you know little stitches along there to make them stand out and then maybe um, a tiny little um, loop and stitch what are they called lazy daisy stitch to have the leaves here and then I will just do it like a straight stitch down here and here to sort of help encourage this along to look like that it's a leaf as well and I'll do another 
another little lazy daisy stitch here. can see that. It's fairly similar to the one that I did here. A few differences. Oop. Don't need anything yet. Do that. So I go back to this. Do a couple of little straight stitches. And then go here and do another lazy daisy along me. it makes it look like it's a bit of a flower that's cute now I'm going to keep that um, thread on here because I may use it to do a little bit of all well, depends how this is going to work whether I need to use this on its own which I might which I might nice having a bit of a different thread which is a bit curly and it's gonna prove to be challenging to get through the needle it's a Steph Francis it's a silk um, B-O-U-C-L-E Bruchelle, or oh, I have no idea, but it's a silk thread. Um, might get a bit of the colour. There we go. I like the texture. They're in the um, in the the um, packs that you get that are you know like you get what you get. So um, and they work out to be heaps cheaper. Well, hopefully that's not going to move. Okay. Yep. Do a knot. Don't know what type of where is the knot? Really hard to tell where the knot is. <laughs> there it is. Now um, don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's see. There's all sorts of stuff on this here I'll show you so far. It's a bit of a long video, but you know. I've stitched along there in that um, in this green thread, so no, it might prove to be a little challenging. Well, oh, here we go. Get out the old tweezers. If something had to be challenging in this, that's the only trouble when you're using this beautiful thread. Doesn't always comply. There we go. Oh. No, maybe not. Oh. Well, there you go. I might have to... Um, undo it and see how we can use it differently. See, I'm not used to using a different type of thread. It's really pretty. Maybe I should couch it. There you go. Um, with this. We'll just gather it up in little bunches. That would probably work. I like that. Gather it up. 
it up. We've got all the colour. Gather, do round. See? Necessity is a mother of invention. Okay, I am going to put some glue down. Mm. We are going to glue that down and then come back up here and gather. And then I'm going to go with my green thread and just um, slip down some pieces because not everything is going to be stuck down with the glue and the glue is now stuck to my fingers which is just wonderful quite like that colour needs a bit of that over here there we go so we'll just let that sit oh that's cute and then I come around with this and just slip stitch it down in paces. That'll work. See, we have ways around doing things. It is really pretty. It's because it's so thick that it's, um, it's doing what it's doing. Now, Come around here. Just you know, grab this and just catch little pieces here and there. So between the stitching and the glue, we will catch it down. Oh, good lord! If I get that initial first one in the first place <laughs> see my old adage we make the mistakes so you don't have to wait now and you can use the you know you need a little um leftover bit of threads that you have in your containers where are they you know all these little bits that you save. Oh, here you go. Here's my little container with all little leftover bits. So you can do the same sort of thing. Just gather them all up and then just catch it and it becomes a bit like um, you know like moss or lichen or whatever. But because it's got a little bit of texture in it it is rather cute. There we go. Catch it. that down because it's um, in that mossy colour of the background thread we don't really notice the um, it being stitched down Okay, well I'll come back to that and I'll do that off camera. But you get the drift. I like it. Now, um, what else are we going to do? Oh, I've got the pink. Hold that there. But I thought I wanted to do a little bit of pink in the ears. Just a straight stitch. Bunnies have a little bit of pink in their ears. Maybe a tiny little extra one. And then on the other side, I'll even do a little pink on my nose. So there we go. Just 
get this shit down here. Okay. Now, since we've got the pink, might go down and do a tiny little bit of pink on the nose. It's got a looks like a little Y stitch. of the mouth. Ah. A little bit of a perfectionist, that's me. And then I might do a bit of a, a little bit of blue in the eye. And I'll probably go back and do a little bit of fur like I did here to highlight it, but that's something I'll do a little bit off camera. Um, this will look, what are we doing? No, I think it's inside, wherever it is. My black, I'm always forever using it, so I might do, just stitch a little bit of black and then do a white highlight. But, um... Yeah, there you go. A little bit more blue. Hold that down. And then I'm going to continue on with that. So you'll see it in the um, thumbnail, the finished um, bits and pieces. Content. Let's stick that on there. actually is rather cute but I am wanting to use this which is what I've got in here so wondering if it's too thick sounds a bit weird but I want it a little, little a tiny bit thinner so if it's going to tear oh the wood does good okay I give it that little bit of a fluff Probably a bit too much fluff. Needing a haircut. Some bunnies needing a haircut. Get it off your thread. Ugh. And that's going to go I think it's that way underneath here glue it in there like that and glue that together and it holds then I'm going to go like that and I was thinking of putting that button there but I don't think that's going to work so it will either be that one or I really like that one that was the one I was umming and ahhing about last time we'll see how we go so that is what the finished bunny tag looks like so in the thumbnail you will see the finished picture of the bunny with the tag and I'll have it on Instagram as well. I thought I'd better stop now. I'll do the eye and I'll do the stuff off camera. And um, yeah, we'll see. I might maybe just stop the camera and repress it again. That's already 49 minutes. That's taken forever. There we go. There you go, guys. Isn't that cute? But it definitely needs the eye to be highlighted and maybe even just some of the little bits in the you know around here 
so cute. And there we've got this month's tag. Definitely need the bunny highlighter. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. This is probably one of the longest tags that I've done, but I'll I'll uh, catch you in the next video. Bye.